I'm gonna study my notes on the mask, see if I can think of a plan. But if you want to go anywhere, I'm with you. And listen, everyone, I'm really sorry about the way I left. You know I've never hurt any of you on purpose. Well, when you can turn into a bear by accident. <laughs> so, do you forgive me? Of course, Atreus. We know you meant no harm. Hey, wait! We're with you. Master Kratos, what over is here. it you want? It has come to my attention that Nithog has been slain, and as a result, her offspring have been let loose into the Nine Realms. What of it? Unfortunately, without a proper role model to supervise them, the little rascals are certain to fall to mischief. In time, said mischief could culminate in nothing less than their devouring of the Nine Realms entirely. In order to avoid such a grisly fate, I'd like you to bring the lean worms to me. I believe I can act as a satisfactory paternal figure in their upbringing. You'll find the specimens gnawing on tears throughout the realms. Use this device to safely store them, bring them back to me, and I promise I'll make it worth your while. You mean to say you'd raise them by yourself? Indeed. I have no small experience managing extreme personalities. Compared to wrestling with my emotions in the most literal of senses, I dare say raising a handful of leaned worms will be a walk in the park. <sighs> what else is there? We travel to Vanaheim. Great. You gonna check in on Freya? Yes. Glad I get to come this time. So what happened the last time you were in Van Aan? I still don't know how you got Freya to stop trying to kill you. We traveled to her village to break Odin's spell. Once freed, she accepted that I was not her enemy. You also missed a highly entertaining moment where Brock was lifted ass over face in Freya's camp. You met Freya? What's he like? Different from his sister. Lacks her conviction. True. But he's a bit quicker to forgive. And an ineffective leader. But his heart's in the right place. You'll like him, lad. Wow. It's beautiful. And, uh, what? It is also dangerous. More dangerous than hell? What's this thing? Some kind of altar? I do not know. Freya's camp is to the right. No rush is that. Not every day the lad gets to see a new realm. Freya's camp then. Time to see how the Vanir have fared in our absence. I hope Freya's okay. She can care for herself. We're still checking on her though? Her brother's forces are outnumbered. And there is much I owe her. Reminds me of a Vanaheim song I heard long ago. No one here. 
Where is everyone? Stay alert. I don't like this, brother. Kratos, Atreus, a welcome reunion. Unexpected, but welcome. Do you know us? Can't be. Is that who I think? Oh, you shifty bastard. It's almost good to see you again. And for once in the shape of a man, or nearly. So that's how they got your head out of your ass. Maybe now you'll stop being such a half-blind, piss-drunk, oversexed liar. He was more of a pig than I ever was. I do not know you. Do you not recognize your handiwork? Hildes Vini! Remember when we first met Frey in the woods? After I... Oh... I am so... so sorry about that. Freya's poor. Her advisor. And friend. Counselor to the Vanir. And yes, while exiled at Midgard, I was trapped in my boar form. And then you shot me. At my command. No. My arrow, my mistake. Forgotten. Vanaheim needs our help more than ever. Even Mimir's. Come. Just watch where you aim that bow of yours. My hide's not so thick in this form. Head out whenever you're ready. Where are we going? I have a favor to ask. I'll explain on the way. Where's Freya? She came here to help her brother. She leads the search party for Freya and Big Fear. They've been captured by the Ainher Yard. How did that happen? An ambush. The presence has intensified since your last visit. To make matters worse, the Celestial Wolves haven't been seen in days. Or at least I assume. Not easy, tracking time with no moon in the sky. No moon. Just like in their shrine. Their shrine? It's a long story. You want us to check on them? You have my gratitude. We're spread thin. And if anyone can help Skoll and Hati, be a fellow giant. Very well. Freya mentioned you had a way past this. <laughs> Don't disappoint. Continue down this path and you'll find their death. Good luck. And don't shoot any boars. <laughs> you think he's really forgiving me for shooting him? Trust me, lad. The old swine still carried a grudge. <laughs> You'd know it. What happened between you two? The usual. Miscommunication, conflicting loyalties, broken promises. <laughs> Nothing to concern yourself with. I'm not concerned. Just curious. Curiosity's all well and good. But so is privacy. Okay, okay. Point taken. Yeah. 
and feels so different from the other realms. It's warm, like Spartal Pond, but there's a kind of thickness in the air. Hmm. Egros. Uh, what? Egros. Greek. For humid. Egros. I like it. Find an open! Making this thing stronger! <laughs> By a knocking, perhaps. Doubtful. You know, lad, this excursion into Vanai means you've now visited each of the nine realms. Huh. I guess you're right. Not many mortals can claim such a feat. Not many gods either. Even your father has yet to grace the halls of Asgard. I'm in no hurry to do so. Thought his Vini said both Frey and Bigvir were captured. Bigvir is the light elf who wanted to learn more about that library in Alphon, right? Correct. An exiled scholar married to a warrior, Bela. Why was he exiled? You'll have to ask him for the full tale. But I take it that he and Bela's quest to unite their people was frowned upon. Wait, Bela's a dark elf? Yes. Wow. Well. That raises even more questions. Hope he's okay. Yeah, it's 
Amir, you once told us Ragnarok begins when Skull and Hati catch the sun and moon, right? I said it was foretold, lad. Prophecy. Which, after our time with the Norns, we've all had quite enough of. But Odin still believes. That's gotta be why the Einar stole the moon. He's still trying to avoid Ragnarok. Or he prepares for it. Fights a proxy war in this realm to distract yeah. his enemies. or that, I guess. I can sense them up there. It's gotta be their den. Excited to meet Skull and Hati, lad. I mean, I've heard all your stories. It's gonna be weird meeting them in person. Legend meeting reality. At the very least, it shouldn't fail to entertain. Uh, hello? I think they're sleeping. Well, there you have it. The legendary celestial wolves. Supremely entertaining, as promised. Remember their shrine? They didn't rejoin the sky until after the moon returned. And then chased an arrow across the sky. Right. Well, guess we go find the moon and put it back where it belongs, eh? As if that's a perfectly normal thing to say. The Aenor Yard played a part according to Skull and Hati Shrine. Managed to stuff the moon inside a box, if memory serves. But it didn't say where they took the box. Aye. That's the rub of using prophecy as a map, isn't it? Don't spot on the details. There's a war camp in the nearby village. A strong fortress to guard their bounty. We will try there first. So besides Hilda's Dini and the elves, who else is part of Freyr's army? Not much army, really. Although Beer Girl was a soldier, once walking the path of a traveler. I imagine he's handy with that enormous broken sword of his. A traveler that doesn't want to kill us. That's nice. I believe no one's here. They hide. The Vanir aren't all hardened warriors like our dear Freya. Those who survive the warfare find it easier to hide in the jungle and use nature as their shield. When 
I bring it down. We strike. Yep. <laughs> Uh... Empty. Where'd they all go? Wait, there's the moon. Uh, box? Down there. That's gotta be it. This is definitely an ambush. Yes. Ready to put the moon back where it belongs? Okay, yeah. That is a weird thing to say. Hey! Hurry! She's getting away! Uh. Come on! A double ambush? Okay. You see that She's gone again. Hurry, we gotta get across. Times the charm. They are not smart. I understand. You know, what we're doing right now, all of this, it's almost exactly how we saw it play out back in Skull and Hati Shrine. The wolves are back in Vanaheim. We're rescuing the moon. 
Yes. I remember the prophecy. So, doesn't it make you worried? If everything we're doing now happened in the Yonar Shrine? Remember our agreement. Prophecy will not dictate our actions. Yeah. Our allies need help. That is our focus now. Whoa! What is that? A wyvern! Nasty beast! Get the From Helheim. Heimdall must have grabbed this while I freed Garm. Uh, I was there, but I, I didn't know. And now you fight to undo the damage. Your guilt is misplaced. Yeah. No, you, you're right. We can return to the den through here. They will pursue. Keep your guard up. Father. How are you so sure we even have a choice about what we're doing? Doubt is a weakness we cannot afford. Who said anything about doubt? So far, we've done everything the Giants said we would. We make our own choices. Nothing forces us. <laughs> But what if, by doing all this, what if we're walking straight into Ragnarok? Isn't there any way to avoid fate? Your fate? What if we can't stop you from- Would you turn your back on the wolves? On this realm? Remember our agreement. The lad does make some good points, though. As long as Atreus lives, so be it. nothing. their shrine. If I do this... Fate only binds you if you let it. Do what is necessary. Not because it is written. Gift? 
for us. A way to call them anytime we need them. <laughs> Feels like they want us to use it at one of the altars. <laughs> Perhaps Freya will know. So in essence, they just gave us the keys of dusk till dawn. Not bad for a day's work. We should head back to Hildas Pini and tell him about all this. Yeah? Yes. Back to the camp. Wow. This place changes at night. A lot. No less humid, unfortunately. Look out! Ball has find you incoming. Oh. 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 Very, very egros. Liking it less now. Come back fast, but not that fast. In Asgard, what else did you see of Odin's army? Well, all these Anhuriar we've been fighting, they've already died in battle once. We kill them here, and they'll just wake back up in Valhalla. They'll never truly die. Should it come to war, we do well to have our own endless army of dead soldiers. You mean Helheim's army, like the prophecy said? It will not come to that. like the egros. <laughs> we can get across from up here. So, 
We report back to Hilda's Feeney. Then what? We came here to help Freya. We will not leave without rescuing her brother and the light elf. Okay, but Odin's not gonna stop searching for mask pieces. That is his concern, not ours. Sure, but if that mask offers all the answers... Then it will surely exact the price. Be wary of shortcuts to knowledge. Yes, father. <gasps> All the plants who want to kill us? No, no. Only the carnaptious ones. Who's that? Ah, that wrinkly mud belongs to Helka. She's a blossomder. Hounds prized for their pinpoint accurate tracking abilities. You'll love her. Kratos, Atreus. That eclipse was your doing, I take it. Thank you for coming. Big Vir used the diversion to escape. What about your brother? We know where they're holding him now. Bela's already prepped the explosives. If you're with me, we can leave as soon as you're ready. I could use another shapeshifter's help. Go with him, Atreus. I will aid Freya. Yes, sir. Fuse is but 30 heartbeats. That's enough. Once you see the signal, tone it down. Come, Kratos. We should get moving. The wolves gave us a scepter. They will answer, should we call on them. Good. There's a shortcut to Njord's temple we can use in daylight. The Einar Yar are holding fear in your father's own temple. It's been empty for as long as I can remember. There's a celestial altar across the river. According to Big Fear, the altars were once used to signal the wolves. And now we have just the scepter to do it. What did you find? A seed of Yggdrasil? To Muspelheim. Where do you reckon it leads? The gauntlet, perhaps? The what? Combat trials. We... I attempted them. Several years ago. With Atreus? Yes. Then we should find the other half of the seed. See where it leads. What is your plan? When we reach the temple, I'll fire off the beacon. A signal for Bela and Birger to set off their distraction. The Dark Elf Hive. Nice to not be on the receiving end of it for once. With their attention drawn elsewhere, you and I can assault the main force from behind. While Atreus and Hildesfini slip in to rescue your brother in the confusion. Yes. Once we see their beacon, we'll regroup by the river and escape on Freyr's boat. Stop 
more soldiers since our last visit. Mm. Our disadvantages are many.
Try dragging the scepter across the bell a few times. Come on, we're making good time. Our actions in this realm follow the prophecy of the giants. Atreus believes Ragnarok is inevitable. The Norns were quite clear on the nature of prophecy. They told us the sum of our choices were predictable. But we have changed. The Norn said you'd kill Heimdall, but you chose not to walk that path. Back when we first met, I doubt you'd have done the same. And you? Do you still seek Ragnarok? Odin has much to answer for. If Groa's prophecy is correct, perhaps my realm can finally know peace. Perhaps I can know peace. Forgive me for being a head on a belt, but haven't we all just established how prophecy is pure havers? <sighs> Gods, Mimir. What? The most annoying man alive. More up ahead. On your mark. Enemy behind you, traitor! 
Careful, that's the Alpha. Tough fight. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
This way. Alas, we're neat hog. It was in our way. I don't doubt it. Curious, though. What was she doing here? Odin used roots of the World Tree as part of his spell that kept me from leaving Midgard. Neathhog protects the tree's roots, wherever they are. Ah, I see. Odin... noise once the assault begins. If we distract them long enough, Hildespini and Atreus will have more than enough time to get in and out undetected. I am not worried for Atreus. He is ready to fight on his own. This is it. There's an altar behind these vines. <laughs> Call on Skull, please. Are you ready? I am. Are you? I'm not leaving here without my brother. <clears throat> We're coming for you, Ingvi. Queen Mistletoe herself. Hilarious, by the way. Been a while. I'm dull. <laughs> and you must be the little half-breed's father. Lucky day! <laughs> you have a lot to answer for, Sunshine. You too, traitor. Better a traitor than Odin's lapdog. Hmm. <laughs> Is mine. I can help. I know. But you are needed elsewhere. He's right, you know. Sizzles wasn't looking so hot last I saw. I know you didn't want this. But we know how this ends. <laughs> See you soon. Well, we both know that's not true. <laughs> but don't worry, Frigg. I'll be coming for you and your brother as soon as I am finished here. Now, what you got? So, yes, so angry. Really? You are the one who killed Balder? Here! Come on! Down the animal! <laughs> With your reputation, I thought I would at least break a sweat. <laughs> No! What did Ghoul Toll forever do to you? <laughs> Not going to lie! I'm disappointed! <laughs> Having fun yet? <laughs> Oh well, you and me then! <laughs> 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 
Oh, wait! You expected the stick to give you an advantage? Huh. Nice stick. What the? I can feel your frustration, you know. It is immensely satisfying. What now, brother? The spear remains our best chance. <laughs> Come on! Fight me! Oh. Any day now! No point! No match for Bifrost, though! Well, I'm waiting! Hilarious! The Scion of the Aesir brought down by an old These are new breaks. <laughs> you actually hit me. the last time anyone hit me! Slow down! I can't decide if I'm more surprised or pissed off! Come on, brother! You hit him once, just gotta find the right opening! But you know... Pain is not as bad as I remember. Slow it down. He's open! <laughs> there we are. Armor fit for a car. Slow down! When was the last time I even used this? You are mine! You strike like a sloppy cow! Slow it down! What is going on in that empty little head? Oh, no, no, no. You are going to spare me out of pity! <laughs> Let it go, you may live. Is this about the little runt? Oh, now I am definitely going to gut him! <laughs> <laughs> This 
is your final warning. I don't think a warning is going to cut it. You think you get to just walk away? No. That is not how this works. <laughs> You do not get to decide my fate! You are dead, sunshine. Slow down! You are in way over your head! Don't you know who I am? I am the Watchman of the AC, the Herald of Ragnarok! I am going to find that little mongrel of yours and beat his face into a gulf! My turn. <laughs> Only one of us is walking away from this. And if you're sure as shit, it will not be you! <laughs> That was just... Uh, I don't know if we are breaking fate, or fate's breaking us. At least the rescue's going well. Get out of here! I'll cover you, but you can't get through the door! You're trapped! Uh, 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 
to see in your faces. <laughs> Relax. It's flying. We're flying. I knew it would do that. We have guests! I think that's the end of Birger. You think he survived that? He's down there picking the dirt out of his nails with the beast's feathers. You'll see. He... Uh, he has to be. We're almost there, Ingvi. Just hold on a bit longer. I don't suppose I have much of a choice at the moment. And boiling water. Red root and lamb's grass. I know, I know. You think I never staunched a bleeder before? Oh, now don't you go worrying, boss. I didn't go through any of your stuff while you was off being tortured. Ah, damn it, Linda. Easy. Heck you says to me for? I'm the one who stuck you like a damn pig. No offense. Freya, mind giving her a hand. We're just taking over entirely. Hold still. She'll just get you stable so I can take you to Sindri's house. The rest of my herbs are there. We'll protect the realm in your absence. The four of us. Vanaheim's in good hands. Party at Sindri's house, then. Huh? Whoever that is. Your boat. Nope. Your boat. Go on. Take it. Sail the skies, sun yourself on its bow. You look like you could use it. <laughs> Make a Vanir god proud. Gave you his boat? Nice. He left me no choice. Because it was necessary, not because it was written.
as he holds, Galahorn is the herald of Ragnarok. Whatever it does. I read about it in Odin's library. Supposedly it... Hold it, Treus. We will discuss in private. I'm sorry, love. Biru is the one who found me wounded in the jungle when I was trying to find my way back here. Watched over me as I slept. Don't get captured again. What is it? Yeah, I spent a lot of time tinkering up and down the I lit out of there faster than a tassel. So frazzled I accidentally left behind. What? Irreplaceable. Well, just one. What is it? And if you come across any of my old, I'll use the scrap to What is the Just bring it back here? Oh, and don't forget to keep an eye out for my old armor. I'll fix it up for you. Free charge! Mm. What sort of orb do you imagine we're looking for, brother? What do I do not know. More. Rest. And then we continue the fight. Fine. Wait. Feels like there was something else. We have to decide whether or not to abandon this camp. Its location may now be compromised. I was not followed. If I am sure of anything, I am sure of that. What does that mean? Helka smells something. Could be important. Maybe we should follow her. Tracks. Helka's. Where are you leading us, girl? So, what do you want to do now? We don't have to go straight home, do we? Ah, we can always try finding Helka some other time. I wanted to tell you. I read something in Odin's library about what Galahorn is supposed to do. If blown by a god, it sounds through all the realms and harmonizes the space between them. Well, it's somewhere like Tyr's temple, and it would be like opening up all the realm travel towers at once. It's quite a vulnerability. Wonder why he didn't just destroy it. Some artifacts defy destruction. Well, we should make Freya aware of this. tree has become rather overgrown. And? And, if it grows too wildly, the branches risk getting too heavy and falling, which is not ideal considering they hold all the realms. I am no gardener. What an absolute shock. No, I do not require any horticultural skills from you, but I would ask that you keep an eye open for the stags of the Four Seasons. They normally graze upon the tree and keep it tidy. Unfortunately, Bitter decided it would be funny to trick Arrogant into releasing them. If you happen to find the stags during your travels, I would greatly appreciate assistance in bringing them home. I would have one of my spectral squirrels do it, but they keep eating the feed, consequence of it being the most delicious. Speaking of, once you've found a stag, the feed, then one of my spectral, and, uh... I will not. Bitterness asked me if I was too chicken to release them. But I am, in fact, not chicken-like whatsoever. So, uh, Very well. What else might there be discussed? Who's talking? You are the best. You have always been the best. Hey, tell her she's the best. Oh, you're back. The heroes of the hour. Enough. Uh -huh. 
Look at that. <laughs> you really did it. How, in all the nine realms, did you manage to kill Heimdall? I knew our spear would do the trick. Well, happy Ragnarok, everybody. Let's drink. Is it true? Heimdall's dead. I can't believe it. There's no stopping it now. Odin swore peace only so long as you spilled no more Aesir blood. I refused that deal. Yet he honored it. But now... But what? You and I know better than anyone that Odin's promises never last. We have the advantage now. It's time to bring him down. No. None of you understand what's coming. Odin's vengeance will be his only concern. Not his only concern. The mask. Whatever knowledge it unlocks, that's what Odin wants more than anything. If I go back to Asgard, go I can... Go back. Go back. Look. If I can finish what I started there, Awaken the mask, get answers. Maybe that's our way out of this. But I gotta go soon. Before they figure out what's happened. Atreus, you are home. Do not ask me to put you at risk again. He's at risk where he stands, Kratos. We all are. Anything we do or don't do is dangerous right now. But Odin needs me. He trusts me. I'll be safe there. From a tactical perspective, am I wrong? I don't much like it, but it is our best play. Dividing Odin's focus would buy us time. And give us a pair of eyes in the enemy's inner sanctum. But if there is truly a source of infinite knowledge, you can't let Odin have it. Aye. And once he has what he needs from you... Then I lose my leverage. I get it. I'll be smart. Father. I can do this. Remember our promise. You too. I hope you know what you're doing. I do too, Sam. Well, I still want to hear how you did it. You mean how we did it? I uh, yeah, have it. And therein lies a tale. Atreus, listen. I can't let you go back without this. A hammer? Your key, please. You ever need a way out of a bad situation? Throw this down hard and say, Wergi. One use only. Wergi. Thanks, Sindri. Hope I don't need it. Me too. All right, she said Hugin would be waiting in the cabin. Mimir, anything else I should know about Odin? Maybe a weakness or something? Like if I flip up his eye patch, he'll disintegrate. I lad, wouldn't that be? Yeah, no. Sorry, Mimir, I can't do your accent. I'm on my own for this one. <sighs> Here we go.
Ben? Huh? You made it back! Uh, hey. This is your wool? Ah! Stop doing that. <laughs> oh, were you having a moment? It sort of looked like you were having a moment. I can go. No. Sorry. This is Fenrir. <laughs> it's okay, Ben. She's, uh... <laughs> I was right about your knife. Huh? I'm glad you found a place for a soul. <laughs> me too. Hey, uh, how'd you find me here? Loki? This is my marble. <laughs> and where are you heading off to? Back to Asgard. Hey, I'm actually using him. Uh-huh. Angraboda, look. Once I see this through, I'm gonna know everything. How to save my father, how to stop Ragnarok, and maybe, hopefully, how to bring our people back. Loki, those are all very noble intentions but he's Odin you have faith in me right of course I do I just hope the story you're writing for yourself is the one that you truly want would you would you take care of Finn while I'm away I'll take good care of him Oh, night boy. Be careful, Loki. Odin complete the mask, but also make sure he doesn't get any answers from it. Easy, right? He's probably in a study. Hmm, nicely equipped. What needs work? does nothing. Harness it. Heimdall's dead. Happen to know something about that? Anything? Well, I mean, everyone hated them. Sure, sure. But have you seen anything? Something noteworthy? I mean... You know, he did sock through pretty hard while we were out. Maybe someone found out? Got even? I, I don't know. Are you suggesting my son had something to do with this? I don't know. Honest. Well, I have to ask. Never believed you had anything to do with this. I'm glad you're back. So, I figured out what went wrong. I mistranslated a word here. Did you now? I thought it said beyond the cry of cold breath, but it actually reads the cry of first breath. Well, that's somewhere else entirely. I know where that is. Young man, you've done it again. Go. Take the mask. 
Take the sword, take the bird, find Thor. With only to me for life. Hey, Ingrid, you wouldn't happen to know where Thor is. Yeah, I figured. Maybe I should stop by my room. It might be a while before I can fix up my equipment again. Rude? Sorry, um, all father said I'm supposed to head to Niflheim with your dad. I haven't seen him around, and I was wondering if you had any idea where he could be. He wasn't with grandfather? No. I think I know where he might be. Follow me. I, uh, also wanted to talk to you about Heimdall. Don't. Not here. You're right. Later. Back in Helheim, I told you I'd help your mom understand how much becoming a Valkyrie meant to you. I wanted to, uh, let you know that I meant it. You didn't. And you're still alive? I haven't yet, but I will, as soon as I come back. <laughs> There'll be plenty of time to get under her skin later. Thanks, Loki. Weapons aren't allowed inside. We'll have to check them. Why? Just do it. Come on. This way. Oh. Huh. Come on. They're not going to let you in otherwise. Look around. He'll be here. like it might be a bad time, so if you need a moment, I totally understand. No rush, but... Uh... Right where I thought you'd be. Why are you doing me here? You shouldn't be here. You... You shouldn't have brought her here. What are you doing? Did I say no rush? I meant we should get going, right? We don't want to keep the all father quiet. He's right. You should get going. <laughs> Dad? Don't do this. It's already done. Let it be known, the God of Thunder is good for two things. Killing giants and pissing me! <laughs> Any man who disagrees will greet Mjolnir with his face. 
Waiting outside. Please, let's just. I said, quiet, boy. My name is. What? No, I. Oh, come on. No, no, no. I swear that really wasn't. Grab his arms. Let's get him out of here. It's a good fight. Uh, 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 uh. 
I'm sorry you had to see him like this. No, no, it's fine. Really. Hey, I'm strong, but you gotta help me out here. Come on, it's not that far. Get up. Ah, Sarudi. You are going to Niflheim with Loki. All Father's orders. You have to get up. I know you're disappointed. Disappointed? No, 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 no. That was a glorious fight. You can't even say you're sorry this time, can you? Because what's one more broken promise? <sighs> Grandfather treated you like crap. You were struggling. I get it. But you can't just... We're here for you. Mom and I are here for you. Even when you're here. We love you. You know that. I just thought this was behind us. I fucked up. or something. Was it worth it? I don't know what you're talking about. Fine, but I hope you know what seeing you like that did. I was drowned. Can we just fly over these guys straight to the mat? You think I want to carry you all that way? Stop! I'm not your passport.
Druid looks up to you. I hope you know that. Don't need a lecture about parenting from you. Just find the thing. Looks like we gotta head through that wall. You Something wanna... I need to do first. Take your time. Now we can go. Loki, you really keep trying to. You have no idea the kind of shit I've been through. Right. Have dying son of a powerful god with impossibly high expectations. How could I ever know what that's like? <laughs> I'm not trying to do anything. I'm just pointing out we're not that different. I got no interest in bonding over shared blood. Another wall of ice. Hmm. Thor, mm -hmm. could you... Okay. I just want to add one more thing. If you can't be yourself, you also might not feel like you can follow your own path. Doesn't it sound familiar to you at all? So we've got some similar life experience. What does it matter? It seems stupid to gripe about the things we can't change. Who says we can't? <laughs> Damn it! H! 
again with the gripe. Calling out a problem isn't griping. It's healthy. Your boss. Bet you're glad I'm helping so much this time around. You're welcome. I will say the store's doing work over there. You're lucky she's helping too. You take this one, kid. <laughs> There, just ahead. This I don't think that's where we're supposed to go. So I said, Why? What? <laughs> Huh? <laughs> 